All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about the states of matter. And uh, the three states in which matter can exist are solids, liquids, and gases. Now, there's a fourth state that's called plasma, but we're not really going to get into that in this video. So, let's start with solids. In solid matter, atoms or molecules are close together and are fixed. So, uh, the atoms or molecules that compose a solid, they do vibrate. You know, they, there are small vibrations uh, within the atoms or molecules, but they can't really move around or past one another. And this gives rise to a definite shape and a definite volume. Example, and examples of solids include ice, uh, aluminum, and wood, and a great many other solids. Now moving on to liquid matter. In liquid matter, atoms or molecules are nearly as close together as in solids, but they're free to move around one another. So liquids, basically, they take the shape of their container. Whatever container you pour liquid into, it'll take that shape. So that means that liquids have an indefinite shape and a definite volume. Examples of liquids are you know, water, alcohol, gasoline, Coca-Cola, Gatorade, whatever. On to gases. In gaseous matter, atoms or molecules are far apart and are also free to move around one another, as in liquids. Uh, because atoms have, because the atoms in, or molecules in gaseous matter are so far apart, uh, gases are actually uh, compressible, which means you can uh, squish down a gas into a smaller space, kind of like when you squeeze a balloon or you move a piston. That's called compressing a gas. Gases have an indefinite shape and an indefinite volume. So that means that whatever container you put a gas in, uh, it'll take the shape and the volume of that container. Examples of gases are helium, hydrogen, and oxygen, and a great many others. So hopefully this video helps out, and uh, good luck.